morning squares. Today we are going to uh, discuss about uh, one small person. Uh, every compact all the space is normal. Okay. Now in the earlier discussions, we have already uh, proved one result that every metrizable space is normal, which which give a lot of examples of our normal space. Now this also guarantees you that uh, further examples of a normal space. You can take any compact Hausdorff space, it automatically becomes a normal space. Not only that, we have already proved that okay, every compact Hausdorff space is regular. Okay, this space is regular. Now, we are going to prove it is also normal. That is, every compact Hausdorff space is normal space also. Okay, for that, you assume uh, X as a compact Hausdorff space. X as a compact Hausdorff space. To prove X is normal, we need to uh, prove that every singleton set is closed in X and then uh, every pair of disjoint closed sets, say capital A and B, can be separated by means of disjoint open sets U and B. That means uh, for each pair of disjoint closed sets A and B, there are neighborhoods U and B such that U intersection B is empty, U containing A and B containing B. First, it is quite easy to prove that every single term set is closed in X because basically the space is a Hausdorff space okay, and therefore it is a T1 space and therefore it is a T1 space which means that every single term set is closed in X. Okay. So there is nothing to prove. There is nothing to prove okay, to say that uh, every single term set is closed in X. It's, it, is, it is already given on the hypothesis. Okay. Now take arbitrary closed sets A and B. A and B are arbitrary closed sets which are disjoint. design. So our aim is uh, we need to identify an open set U which contains the set A and an open set V which contains the set B such that U intersection V is empty. That is uh, A and B can be separated by means of design open sets in X. For that we proceed as follows. You, you take a point in A, then obviously this A not a point of B because A and B are designed closer, small a is a point of A. Now look at that, your space, okay, every compact R space is regular also, therefore X basically a regular space, X basically a regular space in which there is a closer B not containing the point A, therefore by definition, okay, there are open sets u suffix a and an open set v suffix b which depends mainly on the point a okay. and also the set b such that a is a point of u a v b contains okay, the set b and u a intersection v suffix b of a is equal to a that is this A and that is point A and the set B can be separated by means of disjoint open sets in X. Okay. As we vary the points okay, uh, A over the set capital A, okay, we vary the point A in A. Okay. In each term we are obtaining the open set UA and the corresponding set VB of A. Okay. Then you are getting a collection of open sets. If we do the process for each and every point of A, you get a collection of open sets okay, which contains the point A and a collection of open sets respectively contains the set B okay, for each point of A. Now, it is easy to observe that 
this A is subset of U D of U A. Because we collect the collection U A in that manner. Because you start with the point of A. Okay. There is a neighborhood U A which contains a point A. Therefore, if you take any point of A, it lies in some U A. Some it lies in some U A. Therefore, it is in the union, which means that A subset of union of U A. A subset of union of U A. So each U A is open. Now union of U A contains a set A, which means that this is an open cover for the set A. This is an open cover for the set A. That your A is also closed in a compact set. Therefore, A basically a compact set. And A is compact. Closed in subset of a compact space is compact. Therefore, A is compact. Here is an open cover for A. Therefore, by definition, there is a finite subcover. So there are there are points. There are points, say A1, A2, etc., AK, in A, such that uh, capital A, subset of UA1, union, UA2, union, etc., union, UA. A is uh, covered by finitely many open sets of this condition. You put this. Uh, union, finite union of UEI as capital U, as capital U. Okay. Then U is obviously an open set which contains the set A. Observe that how you uh, correct this UA for each A in A, you uh, you note out that A not in B. Therefore, by regularity, you are obtaining UA and VB. Therefore, VP of A. And U A of A are different collection, okay, two different collection with this property. U A intersection V B of A is empty for each A. Therefore, for U A one, we already obtained V B of A one. And for U A two, we already obtained V B of A two, etc. V B of A K for U A K. Such that this intersection is empty. These two have no common point. This intersection is empty. These two have no common point, and U A K intersection V B of A K is also empty. Okay. Suppose if we take this intersection, finite intersection of V B of A I as your U, sorry, as our uh, B, as our B, the set B. Then it is clear that B is also open. So U is already open, which contains the set A. Now V is an open set. Okay. Each V B is an open set containing B. Therefore, this B contains the set B because in each set B is a subset. Therefore, inter in the intersection B is also a subset. So, we are obtaining an open set containing B. We are obtaining an open set containing B. So almost we uh, we are at the end of the proof. So. Uh, for the for the design for A and B, now we obtain an open set U containing A and B containing B. So next our aim is U intersection B is empty. U intersection B is empty. That is uh, in the previous uh, uh, proof. Every compact house of space is regular. We done this. Okay, already we done this uh, method. Is that belongs to U? Z belongs to U arbitrary point. Okay. Implies that Z is in uh, U A I for some I for some I equal to one two etc K. So we chosen we have chosen uh, we have taken Z as an arbitrary point of U. Therefore Z is uh, in the union of this. Sets. Therefore, is that lies in some of the U E I we have taken this one, and therefore, okay, is that not in the respective V B of E I for the same I? Why? Because U E I and V B of E I have no common points, have no common points. Therefore, is that is not a point of this V B I, V B of E I, and therefore. 
Ez is not is a point of the intersection because in order that Ez is a point of V, okay, it must be point of V of A I for every I between one and the K. Okay. Now you you say that Ez is not a point of V of A I for some I. Therefore, okay, therefore Ez is not in V, which means that U intersection V is empty because every point of U is not in V, which means that U and V have no common points. The summary is what we have proved already. Haldanus implies X is a T1 space that is every single tensor set is closed in X. Now for arbitrary closed set which are the joint, the joint closed set, there are open sets U and an open set V. Okay, U contains the set B and V contains the set uh, B, U containing A and uh, V containing B such that U intersection B is empty, which proves that the space is normal. Therefore, X is normal. So, which completes the proof. I hope you understand this a small result also. Okay. I hope to get more results in the next videos.